Hi everyone, today we are going to be learning a new way to count money. You know, it's not really new, but it's just another way that you can do. So, um, and it's also identifying coins and their amounts. So previously I had talked to you about counting quarters and counting by 25s. So 25, 50, 75, $1. $1.25, $1.50, and so on. Some of you struggled with counting by 25, so I wanted to show you this video that's called Touch Math, and um, it's for Touch Math for coins. So let's take a look at what we have. So starting with the quarters, let's start with the, the biggest um, coin as far as the, the main coin. There's a 50 cent piece, but we're going to start with quarters. So in this uh, video, you can see that this is the heads part, and this is the tails part. So this is the same coin. It is a quarter, it's worth a total of 25 cents. Whether you're looking at the heads part or the tails part. Now, of course, these would be the same size. And one other thing about the quarter is that there are like little bumps all the way around it. You should be able to feel them if you have a real quarter. You should be able to scratch them with your nail and you would feel that. So when you have that quarter, I'm going to teach you, teach you where you would place your finger and skip count. For touch math, we only count by fives, okay? And you would touch a spot every time you count by fives. Once you memorize the touching points on the quarters and the dimes and the nickels, it makes skip counting a lot easier. So, or like counting money. So let's take a look. On the head side of the quarter, you would count, in this corner here would be five, as you touch that one, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that's worth 25 cents, okay? So you touch the points on the coin in the order that are shown. Each time you touch a point, count by fives. So let's look at this tails part. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, this is the tails part. Let's look at the next one. Let's say you're counting dimes. Touch the points on the coins in the order shown. Each time you touch a point, count by fives. So dimes only have two touch points. So this is the head side and this is the tail side. You have to kind of memorize what it looks like. If you have a little bit of change around the house, you can look at that. So for heads, it would be five, 10, and then we stop, right? There's two touch points. And for tails, it would be five, 10. So it doesn't matter which way your coin is laying. You know, you need to memorize the touch points for, the, um, for either side. Let's take a look at the next one. These are nickels. Nickels are bigger than dimes. They're smooth on the outside edge, but they're worth less money, okay? So touch the point on the coin in the order shown each time you touch a point, count by fives. So for this one, we have two um, nickels here. We're showing the head side, which is over here. This is heads, and then this is the tail side. I think these are backwards. So this would be five, right? And that's worth five cents. So if it's on this side, this would be five. If I put these two coins together, it would be five, I touch there, and then 10, the two together would be worth 10. When you get to a penny, you run your finger across it horizontally. Horizontally means like this, like the horizon, horizontally, and count ones, you count by ones. So this would be one. This is the tail side, this would be one. So let's practice counting coins using touch math. And I'm going to assign this for you to practice um, counting the coins. It's gonna be one of your lessons, okay? There's not gonna be anything you have to write in there in this um, slide. I just want you to go through the slides like I show you. When you do it, you can press the ESC button on your um, computer and you can then go between present, present mode and uh, regular mode. So let's practice. So for this one, it says, what is the total amount of money shown? We have the quarters here, and then we have the dimes, which have two touch points. We have the nickel, and we have the pennies. I, a lot of times I like to arrange my money like that with the, big, the biggest amount of coin first, the next biggest amount, which happens to be smaller than the, the nickel, then the nickel and the pennies. So we would go, remember we're counting by fives this way. We would go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, and then we go 
76, 77. So that amount of money is worth 77 cents. And then they actually do some addition here where you can line things up and add as well. So it's kind of cool. When I assign this slideshow for you, I think you could do this in present mode like this and just take your finger and touch each of the coins and count by five. All right, let's take a look at the next one. For present mode to go on to the next slide, you click your mouse, okay? It says, what is the amount of money shown? So we're counting by five. You would go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, right? We have 80, 81, 82, 83. So we have 83 cents here. And then here's the slide that would show you if you just wanted to add the quarters, you would put the 75 plus the one nickel, that would be another five cents, plus the three pennies would be 83 cents. All right. Okay, so it says, what is the total amount of money shown? So again, you're doing that skip counting by five and touching the coins in the, in the order. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91 cents. So, and then this slide shows you. So I'm going to leave um, this slideshow for you to do some practicing on skip counting and counting money. And then um, I will have another worksheet for you guys to do later, okay? So remember, if you want to use the present mode, you click up here for present mode, and then you'll have your um, coins will be bigger. You can use your finger and touch them. And then to get out of that present mode, you go to your keyboard and press ESC. So that's how you do that. And then there's a lot more examples to practice. Make sure you do each one.